Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of the cat lady. Um yeah, let's pull out some more candles. That's enough for now. Oh, I can only take one at a time. So yeah, we were blown out a candle last time and I think that means that I have to find uh, that person. What the How did I get back here? <laughs> this world doesn't make sense at all. So Alright, that's my body. <laughs> I forgot what it was. So let's see if we can find out where to go. Not that I think it will be that hard, but I'll think. So anything that will not try to take and scare me in some stupid way. Oh, can I do something inside the house now? Uh, of course, maybe the crowbar can. Um, be used to this. Oh, <laughs> Uh <laughs> What the fuck? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, now we get the intro screen. Don't tell me that chapter one was so close to ending. The cat lady. Welp. <sighs> I was so close to the ending of chapter run. Oh well. Okay. So I think I could take a chapter in one go. Second first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before I can call myself that. I often say that patience are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human minds and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very well how it works. You want to check if I'm nuts? Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. 
This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? <laughs> I don't hear. So, what the hell? She's awake, Doctor. Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Would you confirm your name for me, please? Uh, Susan Ashworth. Susan Ashworth. Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please, let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. I will. Please, okay. don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. What? Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Hey? Was it whispering to him or something like that? Because I didn't see anything. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... You. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway, I shouldn't say it, but... You know I'm going to, anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You, doing what you've done, and her, walking in, seeing what she saw. That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? I will... I should have tried to kill myself again. So... <laughs> What the f <sighs> Seriously? Uh. Bad dream. You can call it that. No, just a dream like any other. Oh, that's fine then. I nearly woke you up, you see. So you tossing and turning as I came in here. You looked like you were having a horrible nightmare. Oh, I just got scorched. I get nightmares sometimes. I get them, and I can't wake up. Or well, sometimes I dream that I'm falling. Those are strange dreams. Because I think I like them. I keep falling, but I never fall. If you know what I mean. Never hit the ground. Never. What happened to me? Well, 
How much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... I don't think I should tell her about that because then people think I'm crazy. So. I woke up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Um... Tell me more about this Dr. X now. Did you see this daughter of mine? Tell me something more about yourself. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. I will. will. Be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? You don't. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? Maybe. We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten and tell me when you're ready, Susan. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Okay. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Um, I probably should have... <laughs> Talked a lot more to them because um, maybe this one. I was brought up without a father. I understand he wasn't there when you were growing up. 
Can you tell me why? What happened to him? He... Left when I was little. One night, he just packed his suitcase and left. I was about eight at the time. He didn't say goodbye, didn't even look at me. I remember watching him walk away. It was winter, getting dark early. He just disappeared into the night, and I never saw him again. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? <laughs> well, we can at least go the dark way. She never cared about me. All that mattered to her was the booze, and never me. What I remember clearly from my early years is the image of her, sitting by the window. She'd stare at it for hours, smoking. I find it hard to blame her. She couldn't cope without my father. She just missed him too much. And now, years after that, it seems I've just followed the same path. Not with the alcohol, maybe, but everything else is just the same. It feels like nothing matters anymore. It feels like I've lost something, and I will never get it back. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes, and we will talk about something else. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. This game is weird. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyway. Okay. Um. Take a lot of laughs. The needle is stuck at 10.06. Or 10.08, sorry. Uh, I've noticed that. So, can I go more this way? No. Uh, let's see. Oh, sink, 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 sink. Mm, I have no idea what to use that for yet. So, let's... Uh, let's see... Uh, nothing under the pillow. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. Uh, the needle that's stuck at 11.40. Someone should look at those gloves. Uh, I've got enough gloves in my pocket. There's but no need to take more. I want more gloves! I have no idea why I can turn on and off water, but... Can I make a phone call, please? Oh, yes, of course. But the phone's being used at the moment. Can you please come back in five minutes? Thanks. Well, you're no help at all. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Uh, folder? Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry, are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Who's being sarcastic? Uh, you. <laughs> Let me through. I'm going home. Can I see the discharge letter first? 
If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. You have no right! I am a free person, and I'll do what I want. I'm not staying here a minute longer. I'll have to see the letter first. May I ask what your name is? <sighs> I'll come back later. Please do, Mum. We'll be right here. Okay, so how can I do this? This must be the patient from inside room two. God doesn't seem to look confused. Mm, that's Doctor. Hi. Are you all right? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses, either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Ev. Um, mm. uh... Joanne, Mary, Elizabeth, Mandy, Sarah, Ali... Alice? Alice. No, you're wrong. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Well, that went well. Let's see. Can I find some info in her room? Please stop writing messages on the mirror uh, while we are okay. Examine. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying in this on the side. If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful to I whisk it. So, examine. It's just broken glass. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I was. What was that? What the? F oh, Bill. Oops. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? I just wanted to remind you that I'm ready to go home. Oh, is that so? Well, guess what? I haven't forgotten. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Damn it. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. No, 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 no. no. Please tell me your name and your date of birth. Um. I'll have your name, so I can make a big fat complaint. There is no need for that attitude. Yes, it is. First, you are being disruptive when I'm just trying to do my paperwork. And now you are threatening me! Oh, you should know we are only following the doctor's orders here. 
Now, forget that silliness and let me have a quick look at your wristband. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, all right? Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come in, please? You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Oh, dang it. <sighs> now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Uh. S H R Sarah What the uh, What have you done to me? This can't be right. <laughs> uh, the other way miss your 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 head is the wrong end of the bed. Okay, but there was something the with drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Yeah, there was my plan until they drugged me. <laughs> so is H and an A and R um A H it hold I can't spell but <laughs> I know what it means, so I will take a look at that the next time, so... Yeah. Okay, I can't take one chapter in one go, it seems. But, um... I will um, find out if I can get out of this hospital the next time. So, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time. Farewell.